Hello everybody, Boy Andulovic here. Welcome to Filmmaking Today. So in this episode, we're going to talk about the Olympus ED 30mm f3.5 lens. Now this is a macro lens which is used for extreme close-ups for micro four-thirds cameras. And it works really well for product shots, nature shots such as leaves and other really, really small objects. Now there are a few drawbacks, unfortunately it's not the fastest lens, having an aperture of 3.5 does make it a slower lens, which means it's not so great in low light, which means, yes you guessed it, it requires more light. This makes it very challenging when you have fast moving objects. So it doesn't really work that well for fast moving objects when it comes to photography. When it comes to video it's fine, but photography not so much. But when it comes to slow moving objects or stationary objects it works really well. You do need a tripod when you take photos. It really is a must. You're gonna get a lot clearer and sharper images with a tripod as opposed to hand holding it. Now when it comes to the image, it really looks great. There is no distortion or anything like that. It looks really crisp and sharp and with a little bit of Photoshop magic, you can get some really great and awesome results. Now because this is a 30mm lens, it does mean that the object has to be very close to the lens. We're talking an inch or two depending on what it is that you're capturing and this can be very challenging. For example, if you're shooting insects, you really have to get very close which a lot of times can be impossible. Also if you're shooting leaves, that can be difficult depending on where they're positioned. So that's something to keep in mind. Depending on what it is, it can be challenging. Now all in all, if you are a beginner or an advanced user, this is still a great macro lens for 300 US dollars as long as you are aware of the shortcomings I just mentioned. Now if you are a pro user or you want to become one, you might want to look at the Olympus 60mm f2.8 macro lens which will make a lot of the things I just talked about easier to deal with. But the thing is, it is twice as expensive at $600. But like I said, if you are aware of the shortcomings of this lens, you can get some really great shots. As you can see in this video, I was able to get really great results and I'm sure this will work for you as well. Links for both lenses will be in the description. Check them out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. Just look up my name, Bojan Dulovic.